Hey everyone, it's Paranoia here again, and I'm coming at you with another tutorial. I know I said I probably wasn't going to do another one, but uh, another one with the ship once again. Uh, quick update on the server hosting. Um, you can now do dedicated servers. You could previously do dedicated servers, but not a lot of people know how to do it, and I've been playing around with them a bit uh, over the past few hours, and you can do a lot more configuration with them. It's a lot more simple, very easy process to use. And you can actually comply with the players if they want a map change, uh, timings changes, a game type change. It's very quick and easy, you just a few clicks of a button and you're done. Um, also, it, also, it means you can have the server running and play on a different server if you really wished. So, yeah. Let's get started. All you'll need for this tutorial is the game, the ship, the multiplayer version, and Steam. Now, to start off, you'll need to open up your Steam. And probably won't load up where mine loaded up, but uh, mine loads up in the library. So, to get to where you need to be, you need to first download the server file to the dedicated server. To do that, you click on Library. Go down to Tools, which is under Media and on top of Downloads. Click on Tools. Scroll down all the way. Well, mine was already at the bottom, but scroll down to the bottom. Work your way up, and you'll get to the ship dedicated server. You'll click on that, and there'll be an option to download it. Unfortunately, I've already got it downloaded. So I won't be able to um, show you the download process, but it's very quick. It automatically does everything. And as long as you followed the previous tutorial, it's a big note. Um, it will it will run the server perfectly fine. Um, all server connections can be found in the Steam server option, which I can show you here. Go to View. Up here, servers, change filter, and select the game the ship. Then it will do its little thing. Then you get your list of servers. That's that, and then you should be able to connect to those uh, depending on um, whether it's got a password or not. If it's got an option here on a password, it means it's passworded. Uh, here means it's got anti-steam cheat on it, which is very handy. So once you've downloaded that, you just run it, like play game. You've got a game the ship, obviously. Server name. Everyone probably knows mine is Paranoid's Voyage. Uh, network. You don't want it on LAN unless you're having a big LAN party and you want to do a decent connection. Um, probably do it on the in-game options as well stick to the internet, leave it on that option. Map, it will be stuck on random anyway. You can change that as you go along. Uh, you can set a RCON password. Not really too sure. Oh, sorry. Not really too sure what uh, that's actually for, but you can't start a server without it. Uh, and you can do up to 32 players. Well. And your UDP ports like in the past video, also in the comments of uh, my YouTube video of the original tutorial. Someone had asked what the exact port was. Uh, I couldn't give them an exact answer, but the defaults for what I, from what I know is 27015. Uh, but it does seem to range on um, server lists, ranging from 2700 sorry uh, 27,000 to roughly about 27050 roughly I wouldn't take my word for that but just stick to that port it's easy to remember and just click start and it will start your dedicated server just run it up which doesn't take long and then you'll get to this screen here on this screen it's just telling you your base values what's going on you got nothing set here, you got your map cycle. You can double click on that and uh, change your map cycle. Uh, you can pretty much just double click on any of these and change them. 
change the map to oh, maybe not. <laughs> change the name as you go along. Can't really change these settings. Don't really want to. So you can go on to configure, double click on that. You change the game type. It doesn't work instantaneously, but it does help so you don't have to disconnect oh, sorry, disconnect the server and then restart it straight away. Uh, shipmates is your box. Set that to enable if you want box. I don't like having bots there, it gives a bit of a challenge. Um, then you've got your normal timing settings. So time between rounds, that's in seconds. Uh, countdown to hunt ends, that's also in seconds, so that's 1 minute 30. Uh, you have to chase your person, I think, I have it set it to. Usually I run it at 120, that's 2 minutes the person has. Still pretty slow, Wait, kind of thing I've been told. But it gets the rounds done, gets them quick, makes people rush to get to the quarry. Um, value, I tend to have it as the game value, which is 2,000, uh, 25,000. The uh, time limit is 30 minutes, and I usually have start new sh map at. Wait, no, that, uh, oh, that's in seconds, so you can wait for new players when you start, and change that after the players. Um, number of witnesses, I'm not all that too sure. I'm guessing that's passengers. Mm, hold me to it. But change map, I tend to have it on every 30 minutes. And then you got your statistics. As you can see, it's not running a lot of CPU. It started off as doing that. It was trying to start it off. You can uh, select these options and it will show you bits and bobs what's going on. The FPS. Ah, apparently it's not very good. <laughs> and you can view the players connected. Unfortunately, none are connected at this time. Got bands, and you've got the command console, which also tells you it's a uh, valve um, anti-cheat secure. These are just your menus. Oh, we just got one player, apparently. Total players, one. And that should update. There we go. As you can tell, that isn't me because I'm called MNC Paranoia. Let's send this man a message. Get to say hello to YouTube. <laughs> And you can run the game yourself. Uh, go to all games, play normally. Out of light. <laughs> Faith of the great and powerful, the lord of all time and being. There you go. And then obviously you can do. You don't have to do create your server option. After that anymore, you just go on to join crews, select LAN. So the internet option bit won't be working. Uh, so you just select that, get onto your own, connect. Doesn't take too long. Wait for the load. And there we go. Server's working fine. Got another player since then. Pretty good. Okay, I hope uh, this has helped you guys. Helped you all you guys out. Um, I've been MNC Paranoia, and peace out, guys. See you later.